As Noelle Strelli readies herself for her free skate. And the skater who has three times represented Poland at Junior World Championships with decreasing results. Can she turn the corner now and create her best yet? Well, it's beautiful music that I'm sure would be the framework for a very beautiful program, but unfortunately for Noel Strolli, in an event of this caliber, that's going to be difficult to stay competitive, given yeah, the mistakes. It made. would be really interesting to know, because she's a really wonderful skater, mm. did she have any sense of what had happened before her? Because there had been so many, now we don't have a big audience, so you're not going to hear mm. them pounding through the floors, but you know, did you have a sense that, wow, everything's going so well, I need to skate well? Was that a factor? Or was it just, you know, a bit of a tough skate? Yeah, and uh, she shares coach with Elizabeth DeBaron, who had such a brilliant skate, so you would have sensed that positive energy mm. would have continued. Yeah. We don't know whether or not the training has been optimal for Noel. And there's the opening triple lutz with a free leg back to triple toe loop. Pretty well done, not a bad start, so, but once she made one mistake, and here's the triple flip with a free leg, 
and just sort of turns out of that. So she's struggling a little bit. And there's the triple sow cow, gets that done. And I think I've shown here in the next one, we saw some nice transition as well. And here is the triple loop, and this was the fall. This and this started pop, pop. to unravel just slightly. It wasn't really that bad, but and the triple flip two foot landing, double toe, so there was a struggle. Yeah, there's the same clarity of rotation in any of the landings, so that's why there are so many reviews of the program. Eight of the 11 elements were under review by the technical panel, just assessing how much of the rotation done on the ice for Noel. And that's having the impact on the technical element score. Yeah, and the, you know, Noel coming off the ice, she knew what she can do, and she knew that was less than what she had hoped or had trained for. So there, you know, that is the source of the disappointment, of course. Still a beautiful skater, lots of potential, but finding that magic switch that turns on a inspired and clean performance is not easy. Good to see her waving in the kiss and cry and hopefully thanking all those that have supported her. And a shrug of the shoulders. Well, the expectations of these athletes, they are perfectionists. And so anything less than that perfect, they're not going to be happy with. That's a, that's a blessing and a curse at the same mm. time, right? Depends on how you cope with it. And then, well, has had so much success. She won the Bavarian Open in Oberstdorf earlier this year. And I think set to peak as the season progresses with the aspiration of pushing towards the top 10 and based on what's happening this season in the junior women's event we have to assume now that two triple triples will be a mandatory expectation for top 10 junior world participation i suspect or guess and indeed will we see anybody and including triple axles or quads will likely to see one later all ready in this event from uj kim We've had one attempt from Gabriela Grinberg early in the competition. Yeah, just anxiously waiting. Now, the technical panel has four, five, six, seven elements to review, and we can see under, uh, downgrades, some under rotation, some uh, two falls. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of checking for the technical panel to go through to make sure that their um, assessment is absolutely accurate to the rules and what was de uh, delivered on the ice. And this the point in time where the frustration for the skate is so challenging to accept because it seems here in Ostrava the organizing committee very keen to ensure that nobody vacates the kiss and cry no matter how long the delay for scores may be. And that's We've good, seen, I like that. Yeah, it is good. We've seen some skaters eager maybe to escape the glare of the camera really whilst they wait their well, fate. It, it's hard for them to think about being on the other side of the camera where you're watching. Yeah. You know, if they did, oh yeah, I guess they want me here, right? <laughs> we want to see you. Yeah, exactly. And I suppose celebrate because although this isn't the skate that Noel and her team are wanting, still, you know, as we make the reference to past seasons, what has been delivered here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven triples in a planned program content. Mm, yeah. Still a high bar of expectation. But on this day, the the standard has been very high. Really? So even even on a bad day, this would have been a pretty good program, mm -hmm. right? But um, for this competition so far today has been extremely strong. We hope it continues. Yes. And what, what it does offer the viewers and perhaps those that are less familiar with the sport opportunity to hopefully see will be what will now separate the women. If they are all going for a similar planned program content with seven triple jumps included, then the speed and ice coverage mm -hmm. will be so crucial. Yep. And the PCs, the connection, the, the composition and the performance of that composition, uh, connecting the human judges to, mm. you know, to follow the story, to get engaged. Let's take a look at the scores for the free program for Noel Stuelli from Poland. 88.61, that is eighth in the free program. That's way off this young woman's mark, 141.78, and that'll put it currently overall into sixth place. And it's gonna be disappointing for her, but Noel, you're really a wonderful skater. Keep working that those perfect programs don't come easily and they don't come often. 